Friday Night Baseball on deck for you. We'll see the Baltimore Orioles taking on the Boston Red Sox. Should be a great matchup right on deck. Fenway Park in Boston. A sellout? Is there any other? Two teams who meet in the American League East. It's the Red Sox and the Orioles in Boston. Hi again, everybody, along with Steve Phillips and John Crock. I'm Gary Thorne. Welcome. John Lester, he's their starter. What is it about this Baltimore lineup that they'll be looking for from him today? Well, we got a lefty on the mound, and this one was some of the best stuff in the league among the elite left-handers in the game. I guess they're a line. And time for the offensive lineup. Here's a look at what Buck Showalter's done. So who are you looking at, John? Well, the power numbers haven't come for Nick Markakis yet, but he's still a big threat with the bat in his hand. Nothing he does to overexert himself. He stays on an even keel. Very consistent player. More of a first or second hitter in a line. And oh. Reimold's batting. The the he's leading off the game. The Baltimore Orioles, left fielder, number 14, Nolan Reimold. Here's one hit very well deep. This one to Bird. As he hauls it in. We'll take a look here and see where the Red Sox are positionally around the diamond. And John, how about uh, individual factors out there? Well, Cody Ross is a max effort guy. Every single day he takes the field. You love having him out there. Look, is he the best outfielder in baseball? He is not. Is he going to give you the best effort of just about any outfielder in baseball? He certainly is. But he has a knack for coming up with clutch plays, not only at the plate, but also in the field. He will make a diving play to stop a rally and to help his oh. team win games with his glove. Here's the 0-1 from Lester. Hit hard on the ground towards third. So Hardy is set down. Right fielder, number 21, Nick Here's Nick Markakis batting with two down. His batting average, 212 lifetime against John Lester. Well, and this is one lefty he just doesn't like to face. He's never really had a good at bat against him throughout his swing. Hot shot. Oh, off the pitcher. Wow, yeah, that was yeah. a hot shot, and he couldn't get out of the way. Oh, and he can't make the play. This inning is going to continue. And so John Lester gets him. That's one, two, three. He gets through the first inning. Now batting for the Boston Red Sox. And our starting pitcher for Baltimore. Number three. Steve, uh, we'll be watching how he approaches this Boston lineup. Oh, sending a good lefty to the mound in this ball game here, but this is a great lineup. A lineup that can really beat up even some of the best pitchers in the game. So he's going to have to be on top of his game in order to do it and rely upon that movement on his pitches. He deals. Straight Fastball two. swung on. Can't make contact and behind on the count 0-2. I don't think he's going to waste any time right now. He's just going to go right at him with that 0-2 pitch. You're Big out. swing. Misses You're on batting. the changeup. Struck him out. Went away. Right here, here, he's not messing around. Number going 12. right at him on the 0-2 right. count. He didn't waste Maybe. anything. He just went right for the juggler. We've got a chance to show you the Red Sox lineup. And our scouting report, John, who are we watching for today? Well, I love Mike Avilas. He's a guy who can absolutely catch the baseball at shortstop, one of the best in the game. But what I also like is he can swing the bat and do a lot of things. Every once in a while, he'll turn on one and hit it out of the ballpark. But he's a guy that's going to be a consistent 300 hitter throughout his career. Headed for the middle. Chen. That's the second out of the inning. And now we got a chance to take a quick look at how the Orioles will be setting up on defense. Thoughts, John? Anybody standing up? Well, Matt Wieters has all the tools to be a special player. His hitting started to come around in 2011. He added some power to his game. But what I like about him is how hard he's worked at becoming a great defensive catcher. A tall catcher at six foot five. Sometimes those guys take a little bit longer to progress, but his footwork is spectacular. His throwing is above average. And the way he handles the pitching staff right now, he's one of the best catchers in baseball. He delivers. Good rip on that one, but he missed it on one. You know, with an 0-1 count, we usually see him go with the heater. Sometimes he goes against grain, but I think you have to go with the trend. Strike and two. the called strike taken by Pedroia. 
Now the changeup offers the change of speed, but you have to throw it down in the zone to be effective. He got away with one right there, throwing it up and away. Ground ball, Davis. And he'll step on first to retire the side. It's the kind of inning that the defense likes three up, three down. Still scoreless in Boston. And it's Adam Jones in the batter's box. Adam Jones. Grounded to Gonzalez. Through the infield, base hit, and there's our first hit of the ball game. Well, anytime you can get a guy in base who can steal bases, it puts so much pressure on the opponent. Let's see if they can get him around to score a run. It's going to be Weeders. Here's a swing and a ball hit high into the air. Deep right field, way back there. Goodbye, home run, Orioles. They're on the board. And so they jump out to the 2-0 lead. Wow, what a great time for a two-run shot like that. The home run coming with a runner on. Now two RBIs on one swing. Let's see how the WPA graph looks after that one. Now Gary looked like he was setting on that pitch. He got it and drove it out of the park. What they're going to want to do in this ball game now is take advantage of that and build that momentum up. Well, they need to still be aggressive out there and go right after. Great job by the Orioles right there. Now Baltimore back in control of this game. It's their game to lose. Swung on, hit. Avila's there. And that sets down David. Designated hitter, number 20. And it's Betterman batting. Now, this ballpark was a hitter's paradise. Only Rangers Park in Arlington saw more runs scored, more runs scored at Fenway than even at Coors Field. A lot of it because of that great lineup. He fouls that one off. You know, all those runs at the Fenway last year, it includes the visitors. They averaged over five runs a game at Fenway. Uh, he makes contact, line drive. And that's going to be a base hit for Benjamin. That's going to bring up Mark Reynolds. Uh, 0 1 mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate, and he pays for it. Nothing really unusual for Mark Reynolds in 2011. Even with the league change, he did what he always does hits homers and strikes out. Swung on. Glad is hit hard by Reynolds. That'll be off the green monster out there and left. And here comes Benjamin for the plate. And he crosses the plate all the way from first base. A little warm-up action going in the bullpen. That's a right-hander up and throwing. Well, they're going to wait for the right-handed hitter on deck to get announced, and then they'll probably make the move to the pen. Openings for this lineup offensively. Don't give it to them now because they are hot. I'll tell you about Mike Reynolds. He, he line towards second, and Pedroia pulls it in. This ball scorched right at the second baseman, but he showed quick reflexes to be able to make the play. And Reimold's batting. Second base runner is Reynolds. At the belt, Lester kicks, throws, covers this ball. A soaring drive deep left center field. That ball is out of here. Goodbye, the Orioles. They continue to expand their lead. The lead is five, thanks to that two-run shot. Now, Baltimore's got to be thinking they've got this under control as they just keep adding on runs, Gary. Hardy settles in, first pitch. That one's nailed by Hardy. That'll be off the green monster out there in left. So, there are two men down here, but they do get a man in scoring position. Number 21, Nick Markakis. Well, a great piece of work right there to get that double and put himself in scoring position. He got a fastball and took a good rep at it. Nice, short, compact swing. And it's Nick Markakis at the plate. Grounded out his last time up. And there's Bird for the third out. Striking early, big inning. The O's are ahead, five to nothing. <laughs> 